Hello students, welcome to Alan Overseas. Today in this video, we'll be learning a reminder theorem and a factor theorem. And based on that, what sort of questions will be asked in JE, those we are going to discuss in these videos. So let's start with the reminder theorem and a factor theorem. So what exactly is reminder theorem? If P of X be a polynomial of degree greater than one and A is any real number, if p of x is divided by x minus a, so we are dividing here a polynomial p of x by x minus a, then the remainder will be p of a. See, we know that whenever we divide something, then we get divisor, quotient and remainder, this basic concept we already know. So suppose if you are dividing a polynomial p of x, like p of x is a polynomial of any degree, suppose it is of degree 5, 6 or 7, whatever. So our dividend there will be a polynomial. And once you divide this polynomial, by suppose a factor x minus a. Now x minus a is linear factor. So whenever you divide a polynomial by linear factor, then you get a reminder that will be constant. So, but when you divide a polynomial by quadratic function, then you'll get a reminder linear at the most, isn't it? So if you are dividing a polynomial by cubic function, then you can get the reminder at most quadratic. So that thing you should understand. So when you are dividing a polynomial p of x and your division is suppose x minus a, and suppose you are getting a quotient and that is suppose q of x, then definitely reminder will be some constant. So what will be that reminder when you are dividing your polynomial by x minus a? So this reminder theorem is saying that this reminder which we are talking about k will be just p of a. Why is it so? Let's discuss this very first. Because you know what, when you are putting x equal to a in above equation, then what will you get? You'll get here p of a and on the right side you'll get here a minus a and then you get here q of x, q of a in fact because x you are putting a on left side and a right side so you'll get here q of x replaced with q of a and here you get your reminder k. Now if you just look here a minus a is 0 and on the left side you have p of a so p of a equal to you are just getting k. So the remainder which you assume as k is now p of a. So whenever you are dividing a polynomial by a linear factor x minus a, then definitely you can say that, what you can say? You can say that your remainder will be p of a. Like suppose if I ask you a simple question. Suppose we have a polynomial and the polynomial is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. And now if I ask you that if this polynomial is divided by x minus 1, so can you now just imagine what will be the remainder? So you don't have to carry on the division and just tell what the remainder will be. You just have to put x equal to 1 in this equation and you just have to calculate p of 1. And p of 1 will be 1 cube plus 1 square plus 1 plus 1. And then you get p of 1 equal to 4 and that would be your remainder. So this cubic polynomial when divided by x minus 1, the remainder you should get is what? 4. Well now let's see what the factor theorem is. Now we just studied what's the re reminder theorem is. Now it's time to check what the factor theorem. Let f of x be a any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and a be any real constant such that f of a is 0. So you are getting f of a 0 means you are getting reminder 0. Then x minus a is factor. Why is it so? Because we just studied that if f of x is any polynomial and when we divide it by x minus a, we get some quotient q of x and we get a reminder and that reminder is p of a we just proved. But now suppose if this p of a or f of a whatever we are getting here reminder is suppose 0 as per the theorem. So if this is 0 so I can just delete this because I don't need this. So what you are getting f of x which is your polynomial is actually product of x minus a and q of x. So it does mean that one of the factor because these two factors we got for the f of x. So one of the factor is x minus a. So whenever you get reminder as 0 when you divide by x minus a, then you can definitely say that that x minus a is one of the factor of your polynomial. Or conversely, you can even say that if x minus a is factor, then definitely reminder should be 0. So that is what is the factor theorem. Now let's see what are the questions based on this reminder theorem and factor theorem. Well, the question here in front of you is, if p of x is a polynomial such that when p of x is divided by x minus 19, the remainder is 99. So when it is divided by x minus 19, you are getting a remainder as 99. So what does this mean? This means that 
P of 19 is 99. Okay. When P of x is divided by x minus 99, then the remainder is 19, means P of 99 is 19. So, x minus 19 is a factor, remainder is 19, means P of 99 will be 19. x minus 19 is a factor, then remainder is 99, means P of 19 will be 99. Well, now the question is, what is the remainder when P of x is divided by x minus 99, x minus 99? So now you are dividing that polynomial by both of the factors x minus 99 and x minus 99. Then the question is what will be the remainder. Now if you just look you are dividing the polynomial by x minus 19 and x minus 99 means you are dividing by a quadratic term. And whenever you divide a quadratic term maximum remainder you may get is linear term. So let me write my polynomial as p of x equal to. So we are dividing by x minus 19 into x minus 99 and let the quotient is suppose q of x and I don't know remainder so let me assume the remainder is ax plus b because at the most I will get the remainder what linear because I am dividing by quadratic. So from this equation we already know that p of 19 is 99 so just putting x equal to 99 in this equation x equal to 19 in this equation you will get p of 19 here and here this term will go 0 and you get here what 19a plus b but p of 19 is how much 99 so you are getting 99 equal to 19a plus b similarly suppose in this complete equation in place of x equal to 19 if you put x equal to now 99 what will happen you will get something like this p of 99 equals to here a 99 minus 19 and 99 minus 99. So this term will again go 0 and you get here what a into 99 plus b. So you are getting here 99 a plus b. So look you got here another equation but p of 99 also we know that is 19. So we are getting here 19 equal to 99 a plus b. So just look at these two equations which we got in a and b. 99a plus b is 99 and 19a plus b is 99. So if you solve these two equations, you will come to know that your values of a are minus 1 and value of b is 118. So as you got the values of a and b, those value of a and b you can put here in this because this is your remainder. So finally you can say that your remainder is what? Your remainder is ax means minus x plus b b is 118. So clear? So your polynomial when divided by product of x minus 19 and x minus 99, the remainder you are getting is minus x plus 118. Now let's see another question based on this remainder theorem and a polyno factor theorem. So here the question is f of x is a monic polynomial. Do you know what is monic polynomial? Monic polynomial means that polynomial whose highest degree term has coefficient 1. Like earlier we seen one cubic polynomial, its x cube term has coefficient 1, then that polynomial is called as monic polynomial. Or highest degree term of a polynomial should have a coefficient 1, then that polynomial is called as monic polynomial. So here f of x is monic polynomial of degree 6, such so that f of 0 is 0, f of 1 is minus 1, f of 2 is minus 2, f of 3 is minus 3, f of 4 is minus 4, f of 5 is minus 5. And the question is to find out the value of, find the function f of x. Now if you just look at the question, you will come to know that for 0 input you are getting 0 output. For 1 input you are getting minus 1 output. For 2 input you are getting minus 2 output. So if you just think you are getting an expression something like this. f of x is nothing but x but with minus sign. But as your f of x is polynomial with degree 6, you can't assume it just f of x is minus x because it is just satisfying the value. Your polynomial is 6 degree means definitely you can't assume f of x equal to minus x though it is satisfying our values. Like if you put here 1, f of 1 will be minus 1. If you put here 2, f of 2 will be minus 2. But our f of x is 6 degree polynomial. So to get a 6 degree polynomial, what you can do? As f of 0 is 0, so you can assume one of the factor as x minus 0. Other factor here 1 is given. Therefore, you can assume one factor as x minus 1 and then x minus 2. Similarly, 
if I construct f of x something like this, f of x at x, x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, then x minus 4, and then finally x minus 5. So in this, suppose if I put x equal to anything like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 0, I am getting f of x as 0. And then, because this expression is completely going 0, and it has how many uh, terms in x? 6 terms, so its degree will be 6. So our degree of f of x, we wanted 6, we got 6. And then I will subtract minus x. So whenever you are going to put x equal to 1, this term will go 0, hence product of all these terms will be 0. And eventually, you will get f of 1 as minus 1. If you put x equal to 2, you will get f of 2 equal to, again this product will go 0, and here you get minus 2, so f of 2 equal to minus 2. So both the conditions are satisfied. Your f of x is polynomial with the degree 6, and as well as satisfying all these conditions. So the, whatever we are getting here is nothing but a function which is a polynomial with degree 6 and what satisfying all the conditions. Okay. Well, now let's have a look at the homework question. So the homework question is here. f of x is polynomial of degree 4 such that f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is 2, f of 3 is 3, f of 4 is 4 and f of 0 is 1 and you need to find out f of 5. Okay. So here it is not given that f of x is monic polynomial. So just try yourself this question and don't forget to give your answers in comment box so that we can revert you back. So we'll definitely be coming up with more such interesting videos on J. So be connected with us and definitely if you have any queries or doubts, ask them in a comment section so that we can revert you back within 24 hours. So stay tuned with Alan Overseas for more such videos on JE. Thank you.